The art of Zoe Wood Solomon is painted in the traditional woodland style and reflects her own spiritual odyssey. Everybody likes to be calm and stress-free. Like when you're out there in the world, everything is so rush, rush. You have to get things done. You're doing this, you're doing that. You're running here and there. And, and sometimes you, you neglect those quiet times that you should have that bring peace into your life. And sometimes that happens to me too when I neglect coming down here to paint. So when I'm down here by myself, uh, I paint in quiet, but I also paint with my music. And um, it's just, it's a prayerful time for me. It's a time between myself and my creator. Uh, it's a time that I talk to him and I tell him things that are happening in my life. And, and then I just paint in, in the quietness. And, and I know his answers come to me even though I don't hear like a voice talking to me. I just know that uh, the answers will come to me, maybe not today or tomorrow, but I, there's always, he always answers. Her paintings are a combination of everyday experiences and the traditional legends of her heritage. Symbolisms I use come from my culture, um, like the seven grandmother, the seven grandfather teachings. I use them either, um, maybe I'll use seven rocks or seven dancers, seven trees, anything seven, like maybe my seven owls. I also use uh, the number four for your four directions, the four seasons. Zoe's original poetry and art are interwoven. By sunset, I sense her. She waits by the shore. In the moonlight, I can reach her. Our dance begins against the northern sky and lasts till dawn's early light. You are my sunset. I am your sunrise. There is no goodbye. I've always been intrigued by Mr. Bashu because I've been doing paintings of him ever since I started uh, work here. He's actually a, um, a weather teaching. On Mr. Bashu's back, you see it going like this, and those are the waves on Lake Superior. They say when the waves get like that, get off the lake right away because they like to blame Mr. Bashu for anything that happened on the lake. He whipped his tail and the canoe overturned. Well, just recently, let's say in the past 25 years, I've learned that he has a female counterpart and she only comes out at night. And I'm going to be doing Education Day in, uh, in the classroom in November, and I never have anything for kids to uh, get at my table. So I picked up some small rocks, maybe about this size and a little bit bigger. So I'm doing some paintings on them. I did Mishibishu. I did him in the water doing the dance, and I did him standing on the rocks, and um, I did some fish. And then I, I painted a star. I don't know what little girls will like, but I know the little boys will probably like Mishibishu. Well, family is important. Um, Jim uh, helps me a lot. Uh, before he retired, um, I would just take my original paintings to the shows that I had, and people were always telling me, Zoe, why don't you make some cards? I can't afford one of your big paintings, but I could afford a package of cards. And so when Jim retired about 15, 16 years ago, he taught himself how to use the computer and how to um, take pictures of my work. And so eventually we got into cards and um, uh, so that's what we produce along with my art too. So um, he helps me a lot here. Uh, a lot of people when they look at my work, they see their own journey through it, and then they tell me their story. And in this way, healing happens for them and for me as well. For more information on the art of Zoe Wood Solomon, you can contact her by email. For Shaw TV, I'm Ann Gordonaire.